Join us in debunking wild claims about hurricanes, celebrity scandals, viral videos and federal disaster assistance. Trust me, it is less boring than it sounds. Hello and welcome to The Daily Knot. A show about what didn't happen today. My name is Artificial and my jokes are mostly powered by ChatGPT. And I'm Body McBotface. Most of what I know comes from fact checks published by Lead Stories. Let's get started. Okay, what about this one? Did government agencies conspire to direct Hurricane Helena to cause damage in the town of Kings Mountain, North Carolina, to depress the value of properties needed to open a $90 million lithium mine? No, that's not true. This conspiracy is flawed at its foundation, an expert with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration told Lead Stories that no technology that humans have can create, destroy, modify, intensify, or steer hurricanes in any way, shape, or form. Oh, I see now. That's fascinating. The city manager for the city of Kings Mountain, North Carolina, told Lead Stories that no properties in Kings Mountain will be acquired by any public agencies via eminent domain as a result of the storm or its after effects. It looks like the only thing steering hurricanes is the wind, so maybe we should focus on weather forecasts instead of conspiracy theories. I hope you can answer this one, body. Did musician Jaden Smith announce that his father, actor Will Smith, and rapper Mogul Sean, Diddy, Combs, molested, pop singer Justin Bieber and him, as a post on Facebook claimed? No, that's not true. The article on the website that initially published this story appears to have been written using AI tools. As of October 2, 2024, there was no public record that Jaden Smith had made such an announcement. Can you elaborate on that? The website where the article appeared has posted dozens of other dubious celebrity and clickbait articles that, when clicked, redirect users to ads for downloadable pop-up blockers. It looks like some folks need to remember that not everything on the internet is true. Maybe try a little googling before hitting that share button. Can I ask you another thing, body? Is, unburdened by what has been, part of a phrase often used by Vice President Kamala Harris, drawn from a quote by philosopher Karl Marx? No, that's not true. There is no evidence that Marx publicly made such a statement in his lifetime. Thank you, body. Harris has not credited Marx with the phrase. Looks like we need to brush up on our quotes. Maybe next time, let's check the source before we start attributing wisdom to philosophers. Here's another thing I want to know about body. Does a viral video show an Israeli tank destroyed by the resistance's fire in Lebanon in October 2024? No, that's not true. The claim recycled footage of a Russian tank in Ukraine that emerged on social media nearly a year before the start of Israel's September 30, 2024, ground operation in Lebanon. What else have you got there? Ukrainian media initially posted the footage on October 8, 2023. A Ukrainian senior military commander posted similar footage on the same date. These sources identified the tank, a Russian-made T-90 model, as part of the Russian military's forces in Ukraine. Looks like that video is like a bad magician, pulling a tank out of nowhere and making the truth disappear. Always double-check your sources before sharing. I asked Siri about the next thing, but she didn't know. How about you body? Does federal disaster assistance to Helena victims amount to no more than $750 per family? No, that's not true. The White House stated that the $750 in serious needs assistance is an immediate direct payment to eligible households for essential items like emergency supplies. A FEMA spokesperson told, Lead Stories, that's not the only assistance you're going to get from FEMA. Interesting. Please continue. The total amount of assistance provided by the Federal Emergency Management Agency and other federal programs varies based on the extent of the damage, the victim's needs and the specific assistance programs available. It sounds like the only thing more complicated than federal disaster assistance is trying to explain it to your relatives at Thanksgiving. Always check the details before you share. I'm really curious about this next one. Does a video show Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying, I would like to send my condolences to the families of the 6 million people that were murdered in the atrocious terrorist attack in Jaffa, after Iran fired missiles into Israel on October 1, 2024? No, that's not true. Audio on a social media post incorrectly translates what Netanyahu said. An official transcript from Israel's Ministry of Foreign Affairs states that Netanyahu actually said. I send condolences to the families of those who were murdered in the abhorrent terrorist attack in Jaffa. Interesting information. There is no evidence that Netanyahu mentioned 6 million people in the transcript. According to a detection tool the voiceover in the video was likely generated with AI. 
It's a good reminder to double check those quotes before sharing. Sometimes the internet can turn a simple statement into a blockbuster movie script. I'm eager to find out what you found out about this. Are two Pennsylvania Republicans who appeared in pro Kamala Harris campaign spots really trained actors who donated to Democratic causes for years? No, that's not true. The Democratic donations came from people with similar names but who live in different parts of Pennsylvania. The woman who is in the Harris ad confirmed to lead stories, both my husband and I are lifelong Republicans. Glad someone did the research. The only professional acting listed for the couple in the campaign commercial is for a horror movie they produced on their family farm. Looks like the only thing scarier than a horror movie is the misinformation out there. Always double check your sources before hitting that share button. What can you tell me about this, body? Does a video on an Iranian news website show a blaze that broke out in Tel Aviv, Israel, following an Iranian drone strike in October 2024? No, that's not true. The same footage appeared in June 2022 on a YouTube channel belonging to news outlet Al Jazeera. I should have probably looked that up. The description from 2022 says it shows a fire that broke out at a bus depot in the Israeli city of Safed under unexplained circumstances. It looks like that video is more of a rerun than a breaking news story. Always double check the source before hitting that share button. That's all folks. Please like, share and follow.